Do you get sense us going yet again to this Felix from NYNews.com? Like always, all like a mustas. Yankees fans, let's continue to talk about a new book that came out called Inside the Empire. It has a whole bunch of goodies inside. It's a behind-the-scenes look into how the Yankees operate. It's sort of like how Michael Jackson let in that um, ABC reporter into his life, and then that same reporter ruined his life. The same could be said about Brian Cashman. Brian Cashman came out looking like the evil genius that we sort of knew he was, but not at the level of doucheness that this book painted him to be. And I'm just going to take it at face value. I know they're just trying to make money off of a book. But one interesting thing that these authors said, they said that Aaron Boone is basically the Millie Vanilli of managers. That there's analytic guys in the tunnels, literally inside the dugout, telling Aaron Boone what to do. If you ask me, Aaron Boone comes out the winner because now people can't blame him if the Yankees lose. That's on the analytic guys. That's on Brian Cashman. But it's interesting to know that Aaron Boone signed up to be basically a male cheerleader. You know, guys, I've never been an Aaron Boone basher. This is pretty much my first video on Aaron Boone. And from that same book, to find out Joe Girardi was fired because Joe Girardi wanted to be his own man. He wanted to be a manager, and he wasn't a puppet. He really didn't pay attention to the analytic guys, but to a certain extent. Of course, he paid attention to them, but he wanted to be a manager. So while, folks, Aaron Boone is the Milli Vanilli of MLB managers, check out the authors in their own words say it themselves. Check it out. Cashman has quietly become the most powerful man in baseball, the most immovable man in baseball, and arguably the smartest man in baseball. And one of the ways he's done that is to bring together a team of rivals. So he has an extraordinary, he has the biggest analytic staff in all of baseball. Under George, he had zero. He has by far the biggest scouting and development operation in baseball. I don't know who's second, but they're not in his rearview mirror. And what he told us was that the analytics guys have grown in power and influence to such an extent that they now have an equal voice in all trades, in it's like all trans. Monster. It's more than that, Mike, because you know you think, all right, so they're the ones deciding whether or not to move on a Verlander in seventeen, to move on a Machado. Um, over this past winter, no, they're in the tunnel during the game, telling or at least strongly urging Boone to make X, Y, and Z player moves. This is new. This is shocking. And there you go, Yankees fans. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this? Where's the baseball going? Who's at fault if your team loses? Obviously... All MLB teams are doing it, but to what extent? I think the Yankees have the most radical approach to this analytical thing. And comparing Alex Cora to Aaron Boone, I know Alex Cora was a bench coach. But last season, you could see Alex Cora was a manager, obviously. So you're going to tell me that Alex Cora was smarter than the whole Yankees analytical team. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this analytical stuff. I think you need some sort of responsibility coming from your manager. And Alex Cora is the perfect example. Obviously, he's getting advice from his analytical guys, but you can see he just manages from the top of his head. And we saw that come ALDS. He bunted on the Yankees. He shuffled his lineup. He did a whole bunch of stuff that you could tell he just thought of it right then and there. I know it's not fair to compare Boone to Alex Cora, Cora had experience before becoming a manager. But I'm just giving out an example that sometimes a manager's gut feeling overrides, let's say, 24 men in dugout tunnels. That's just what I'm saying. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What are you guys thinking? Like always, this has been Felix from M1News.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you on next time. Before it hits the front page